It's funny, the most, um, even going to a remote place like that, usually the things that stick in your mind as being the greatest events are when you meet other people. And the people that live in Kamchatka, and particularly choose to live in isolated places, are somewhat unusual. So we spent 11 days in central Kamchatka in an abandoned village, which was in the middle of nowhere. It had been set up as a logging camp, and then once people had moved through, it was abandoned, and there were all these huts that had been left for 30 or 40 years, still undecorated, old film posters on the walls. It was quite remarkable to walk in there. And this large village only had one permanent inhabitant, a madman by the name of Zielotuk Vasilievich, who was really a stereotypical um, old mad bloke in the forest. Wild, crazy hair, big bushy grey beard, windmilling arms, constantly shouting unintelligible... Um, I don't know what he was saying to us really most of the time. You could only pick up and translate about 10% of it. But then periodically he'd go off to the rivers and put a net in and return with these enormous salmon and gigantic things that he'd deposit in fish and run attacks on our hut. And we kept telling him that we didn't want any more salmon and Yellowtop would come back with another gigantic one for us until frankly we were sick of fresh river salmon. Well I don't keep count of bears but I reckon face to face we probably saw about a dozen bears. I heard bears far more often than that and I smelt them a couple of times which is actually quite disturbing when you can find a fresh trail, you can see that they've been around recently, you can actually smell the, the musk on them, they really do stink and you can hear them crashing around. Once you've seen them I'm much happier. Uh, we saw, like I say, about a dozen. On several occasions we ran into mothers with um, young, which is always slightly scary because you never know how the mother's going to respond to you when she sees you. But fortunately, as I expected, on every occasion they backed away and wandered off. There was only one particularly um, touchy time when we were coming down a ridge, we were actually running quite late and it looked like there was rain coming in, so we were going down the path at quite some speed and right in front of us, less than 10 yards away, a mother and cub burst out onto the trail in front of us. And so we all stopped. This was actually our first encounter with bears, so it was quite good because the students um, were able to see them firsthand and to know how to respond. And so I managed to talk them through it. We faced them as a line, walked away slowly. The bears both reared up to get a better look at us. Actually, when bears rear up, it's not usually something to be scared of. Usually they're just trying to see you properly and to get a good smell of you. And we watched each other for what seemed like quite a long while, but it was probably only about 10 or 20 seconds before they then decided we weren't worth bothering with and backed off into the bushes. So that was good fun. It was also quite instructive because up till that point, one of the students had been going, oh, I can't wait to see a bear, got to see a bear, got to get a photo of a bear. And then actually when a bear appears in front of you, you suddenly realise that it's not a photo opportunity at all. It's a good opportunity to back away and try and get somewhere safe. But like I say, it wasn't threatening and I don't think we were ever put at risk.